Hey everyone, Lori Hill here, and today we're going to take a wild ride into the science of microcurrent devices and LED devices. These are probably some of the most buzzworthy skincare technologies out there right now. And I think the appeal of these technologies is the fact that you can use them at home, yet you know that they probably work to some extent because they've been used on you in a spa setting. Now that's how I first came to get acquainted with microcurrent devices. I was getting a facial in New York City and for the last step in the facial, the facialist, the esthetician, used a very strong microcurrent device on me. And I remember on the ride back in the cab, looking at my face and realizing that everything was just lifted, even more than it normally is. There was a definite lift to my cheeks, my jawline, and even under my eyes. And she told me that this effect would last a few days, and it really did. I wanna say it lasted about 48 to 72 hours. And ever since this, it's kind of been like a proof of concept of actually microcurrent working. And up until this point, I think I had thought that only very aggressive surgical procedures would give this kind of lift. Even though it's basically temporary, I do think microcurrent devices work. Now let me tell you about how I got introduced to LED devices. So very similar story, except this time it wasn't a spa. I was actually at Sephora and purchased a Dennis Gross LED mask and it, they're pretty pricey if I remember correctly. I remember thinking, let's see if this does anything. And I used it on a regular basis and I really noticed that there was an overall effect of my skin being less red, more even toned, and it just looked plumper. And I thought maybe I'm imagining things, but it really just looked plumper and more youthful. And this was, I wanna say it was like 41. This was before I had my facelift. This staved off a facelift for about a year for me. And I say staved off, I don't mean everyone needs a facelift or I really needed one but I did eventually get one because I wanted to get an early facelift. But had I not wanted to get an early facelift, I would say that the LED mask would have staved it off for years. So for those of you at home who you know maybe are not wanting surgical procedures, I feel like both of these devices, the microcurrent device and the LED mask can really do a lot for you just at home as long as you adhere to them on a regular basis. I think a lot of people don't think they work because they'll use it a few times and it won't be a regular thing for them and then they'll just give up. Okay, now let's get into the science of why these things work, okay? Because I am the type of person, I'm very interested in the science. If the science isn't there, then I start to kind of question if that device works or not. So spoiler alert, there is great science behind it. Now let's talk about microcurrent devices. When I first heard about microcurrent devices, I thought, great, my face can now have its own little workout routine without me actually having to sweat it out at the gym. I'm mostly kidding, but it's kind of like that when you find out about the technology. Let me explain. Now, microcurrent therapy comes from a totally different ballpark, and that's rehabilitation. Yes, did you know that the first microcurrent devices were used for rehabilitation? Picture this. In the early 2000s, doctors were using tiny electrical currents to help patients recover from injuries. And then some brilliant person thought, why don't we use these gentle zaps on our face? So microcurrent therapy was born as a non-invasive way to lift and tone your face. Kind of like a mini gym workout for your face that doesn't require you to leave your couch or your bed in my case. Think of it as sending your skin to a personal trainer. These little zaps actually go into the muscle tissue and plump up and help your skin to be more youthful. Now that's just a very general overview. A 2024 study titled Development of Home Beauty Devices for Facial Rejuvenation, Establishment of Efficacy Evaluation System, evaluated home use microcurrent therapy for facial rejuvenation. Among 108 participants, those using microcurrent devices five times per week for 12 weeks saw notable improvements in facial radiance, wrinkle reduction, and muscle thickness. 
with over 80% reporting visible benefits and only mild redness as a side effect. The study concluded that consistent microcurrent use enhances facial appearance by stimulating muscles and improving skin tone, though it should be noted that further research is needed due to the study's small sample size. One microcurrent device that I absolutely love, and all of you who have tried it say you love it as well, is the Blue Mean Face Pro 2.0. Now they are sponsoring this part of the video, but it's only because I love them so much and they have proved their worthiness to me. And let me try it in real time for you. This is something that I can't do with LED masks. I can actually demonstrate effectiveness right away, just like my facial did in New York. Watch this. Okay, let's do a few swipes and then you'll see one side of my face will be a bit higher than the other. And I do this three times a week. I keep it by my nightstand, you guys all know. And it just takes about 15 minutes, maybe less. And I already see an improvement. And over time, the people at Blue Mean say that this actually trains your muscles to plump your skin in a more permanent way. This is what they're claiming and this is kind of what I've seen as well because you guys know I've had a facelift. So I'm not trying ever to bamboozle anyone. You all know this, but I need a way to maintain my facelift and this is the perfect maintenance device. Okay, let's see if we could do a before and after comparison and then I like to use my right side of my face because this eyebrow always like looks lower than the other one if I don't do this. Okay, do you see? After, before, before, after. I see a difference, do you? Let's see. Before, after, before, after. I showed this to you guys last time and it quickly sold out, but the people at Blue Mean are constantly restocking them. Blue Mean is offering my audience an exclusive deal. The first 100 people will receive 200 off plus an additional 50 off when purchasing a second unit. Click the link in my description box to take advantage of the deal. And you can have your money back if it doesn't work for you. Normally this device is $150. Now you'll also get a free ebook, Face Tightening Secrets. Thank you to the people at Blue Mean for sponsoring that part of the video. Now, as far as microcurrent devices go, I love that you get this instant lift to your face. And that I think is the big draw of them over LED devices, but you can use both LED and microcurrent devices. So LED stands for light emitting diode. Back in the 1960s, these little diodes were born as humble indicator lights. They were about as exciting as a low battery warning on your remote control, okay? They weren't doing much at the time. Fast forward to the 1990s. Yeah, when we were all still arguing about which boy band was the best. And researchers discovered that certain wavelengths of lights would actually do more than blink off and on. They discovered that they could actually stimulate skin cells. Enter low level light therapy or LLLT. With red light, for instance, Studies have shown that you could boost collagen production and kick inflammation. Blue light, meanwhile, acts as a bouncer in a club. It escorts out bad bacteria. So now we kind of have a base overview of what these two lights do. And these two lights, in addition to others, are in these LED masks. The LED masks that I've used and loved are The Cure. Love this one. And we can, in another video, go over why I love this one and why I think it works and how long it took to work. And this one by iRestore. I do love iRestore for more than one reason because I believe they're the only ones who make this LED mask. And this one is for your neck and for your chest. And this has significantly helped the youthfulness of my neck and chest area. So I can talk about that in, in another video if you guys want me to, just let me know down below in the comments. This is strictly an overview of LED masks and microcurrent devices. In other videos, we will go over more considerations for both of these tools. So let me know down below in the comments, have you found some really good microcurrent devices that you'd like me to try? What about LED devices? What do you love about them? What don't you love about them? And which ones have worked for you? Let me know down below in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to go visit my link for Blue Mean down below. Thank you guys again, and I'll see you all next time. Love you, bye. Bye. <laughs>